Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. So here I am again doing vlog intro in the car. So for this vlog's topic, since it looks like that I am always at work, I'm going to share with you guys the things, the instruments, the materials that I usually use or usually encounter at work. And this could also be the things that you will be using at your workplaces. So I'm going to share the Finnish translations of these words. This video will be maybe helpful to those who are working or who will be working in Hoivakoti and Kotihoito. So again, if you still don't know the difference, Hoivakoti Koti <laughs> Hoivakoti is home I go Hoivakoti is care home. So that's um the same with homes for the aged and Kotihoito is home care. So that's the same as community nursing. So we bring healthcare services to our patients' home. Well, anyway, let's start the day. So during home visits, home visit by the way is Koti County. We always have our Tuapuhalin, the phone that we use at work, Tuapuhalin, and then we always have. Rempo, backpack. So I'm going to share with you later the things that I have in my backpack, in my rempo. Before touching anything at our client's house, I make sure to put on clean gloves. We usually keep our client's medicines inside this locked medicine box or in Finnish, lukollinen lakelatikko. We can also call it as lake boxy. Many of our clients still use pill box where we distribute their daily medicine dose for a week. Pill box in Finnish is lake dosetti. It is common nowadays in Kotehoito for our clients to use this automatic medicine dispensing machine. This machine in Finnish is what we call Lake Automati. It came from the company Evondos, so other nurses simply call it as Evondos. This machine helps promote the independence of our clients and it also helps nurses in a way that the frequency of our home visits are lessened. Blood glucose monitoring is also very common at work. So we have this saramayate or riskiyate astia or waste bins for medicinal sharps. These are insulinic yuna neolat. We also have here lancetic yuna. Insulin pens are insulinic yunat in Finnish. This is another client's rollatory or walker. Today we have to take her blood pressure or verenpaine using this BP apparatus or verenpaine mittari. We also have to put her compression stockings or in Finnish, tukisukat. There are different types of tukisukat or compression stockings. For example, this is vetoket yullinen tukisukat because it has zipper. Another one are these compression bandages or tuki sidokset. You will also often see this at work. This is silmatippa or eye drop. Hello guys, so it's another day. I was not able to finish my vlog the last time, so I'm continuing today. And the whole morning I had a new nurse with me doing home visits so i was not able to vlog but anyway let's continue so we just came from one client and this client is using walker so walker is rollatory in finnish and she also has this portable toilet bowl portable toilet and that, that's what we call porta tv other assistive devices that I saw from her place are two different kind of walkers. So there's the higher one, she also has the shorter one. And then, um, Kavelukepi. There are different kinds of Kavelukepi or walking stick and it depends on the client's need. So there are different kind of assistive devices that we enc encounter um, on a daily basis at work. Aside from the walker, aside from wheelchair, 
portable toilet bowls. So here are the other assistive devices. This lifting device is what we call Nostory or Hankylonostin and I find this assistive device to be very helpful especially when you have bedridden clients or clients whose lower extremities are especially weak. waiting for my partner will be doing um the last home visit for today so as promised i'm going to share with you the the stuff the things inside my work bag so this is my tura repo repo is backpack so this backpack uh, was provided by our employer anyway guys for those who doesn't know yet your employer should provide you your working clothes um working backpacks and the other stuffs but our employer doesn't provide for work working shoes. So what's inside my Tura Repo? Let's start. Well, since um, we do home visits, we need our patients or clients' keys. So here are the keys. Our Avaimet. Since it's plural. Key, Avain, keys, Avaimet. I have here a plastic bag. Just in case I'll be needing it for example, um, garbages or just an extra. So um, plastic bag or Rosca Pussy cash bag I, I also have here I always carry sanitizing wipes to sanitize the um, uh, for example the blood glucose um, uh, meter or blood pressure meter so this is what we usually call as desinfiointi purhe and then this is my personal personal wipes I also have here thermometer so a thermometer is lampometry and then um, on the from the next compartment, I have here blood pressure monitoring app. There, so it's um verampine mittari. And I also have here extra batteries for for my blood pressure blood pressure apparatus. Batteries battery. So this one you have to disinfect um, every after use. And then I have here, I'm going to share with this later because these are um, wound care things. Wound care things. Hava hoi totu wat So I also have here um, blood glucose meter or veren sokerin mittari. So there's veren sokerin mittari, blood glucose meter. And then this one, the the stripes or how do you call this in English? But this ones, these are what we call liuska. Then we have here the pen, um, lancet ticuna. So the needle that we use with this pen is um, lancet -ti. So this is Lancet Ticuna and then Lancet -ti. And then Luscat, the strips. So we also have here um, Kerta Kautoin and Turva Lancet -ti. So since we are using this one, we don't need to be using this uh, Lancet Ticuna anymore. So there's our Veren Sokerimittari. And then... Since I am working as a registered nurse, Siren Hotel, we have this INR meter, in remittary, Pika in remittary. We also have here, you will be encountering this or you will be seeing this at your workplaces um, quite often. So this is um, tablet in Pualit Taya. And then, since I have tablet in Pualit Taya, I also have here some spare medicine cups and uh, cover so just in case my patient or the client doesn't have one at home then i can give this one to them what else do we have here it's also a protocol for us to always bring these test tubes this actually for virtsanaute urine sample to take urine sample protocol for us to have this one in our backpacks and then last pouch is this one 
I don't know if other registered nurses in our unit have this one, but I took this from the office. And I'm using it as my Hava Hoito Tuateiden Pussy. My wound care pouch. Also have here some pinsetti. So this is our mittanauha tape measure. But we also have this for measuring the wound. Gauze. Gauze. So this is Side Haroso. And then um, different um, wound care products or wound care stocks that we use. Um, but actually, um, for wound patches, um, in general, wound patches, in Finnish, it is Hava Lappu. Sockset scissors. Sockset, again, scissors. And then we have here, um, for wound washing, uh, Huhtelu Aine. We are using different Huhtelu Aine. This one is um, Keitis or Keitosuola or the NACL. We are also use using Prontesan and um, I forgot the other one. I also have this one. So this is um, Keresidos. There. I also in I also have in my backpack um, Ruiskut or syringes. I always bring 3 ml, 5 ml, and 1 ml syringes. And then um, filter needles, uh, suwada tin neola, and different sizes of needles, neola. Wound care is hava hoito. You will be encountering that term quite often in, um, at your workplaces. So I'm going to put it back there. And then from the last compartment of my backpack, Okay, we have here masks, maski, some additional um, syringes and um, needles, neola, yaru, whiskut, because um, we always bring with us adrenaline, adrenaline, in case of emergency. And then I also have here risky yate astia or saramais. Saramais yate astia. Um, I have here kenka suwayat or shoe covers. Looks like this. It's always in blue. I haven't seen any kenka suwaya or shoe cover in other colors. And then of course, hands cut. So these are clean gloves. Um, I don't bring gloves in boxes because they are quite heavy. And we always make sure that these this plastic bags, these small plastic bags um, stay clean. We also have stocks of sterile gloves um, in the office. We don't often use that. So yeah, I think that's it. So there guys, again, thank you for taking the time to watch this vlog. I hope you learned something new or this could be of help, especially to those who are just starting or learning the language. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next one.